Jim, good to have you on the show. Good to be here, Jim. Thank you. Check that. Chris Everett, good to have you on the show. You know what? You know, you've been calling me that for about the last five years. About uh, two years, actually, Chris. Well, hey, you know what? Let me, let me say one thing. In that game, how many sacks did I have that we came back and won? How many sacks did yeah, you have? Yeah, how many games? How many sacks? Let's see, but this was back in 1989. Okay, that so was you, about may, you may have even been Jim Everett back there, but somewhere along the way, Jim, you ceased being Jim and you became Chris. Well, let me tell you a little secret. That, you know, we're sitting here right now, and if you guys want to take a station break, you can. But if you call me Chris Everett to my face one more time... I already did you it better, twice. You better... You can call one more time, we better stay, take a station break. Well, it's a five-minute segment, or five-segment show. We got a long way to go. Well, we do. We got a long way to go. We do. I'll get a couple segments out of well, here before. Well, it's good to be here with you, though. Well, it's good you to know, see you, too. because you've been talking like this behind my back for a long but time. But now I said it right here. Right, exactly. Well, we got no problem well, I with think that. It, I think that you, you probably won't say it again. I bet I do. Okay. Chris? What is up, everybody? Au revoir, Pepe Le Pew. And here is another episode of Yelling from the Bench. Now, we chose an older clip to start the show, frankly, because that's honestly one of the best clips ever. But also, it's almost 30 years later, and safe to say, we haven't forgot it, and neither has Chris, I mean Jim Everett. So you probably think your kid is special. The most amazing little one ever. So precious, so perfect. Do you think that when you watch your kid play on their Fisher-Price basketball hoop that they're going to be the next LeBron James? Yes, you do. And you have about a hundred videos on Facebook to prove it. Well, guess what? Your kid is probably not that good. But you know whose kid is probably going to be good at sports? Patrick Mahomes. Now, your kid might be good at hitting a ball off a tee, but they're not getting a free ride to college for it. Patrick Mahomes signed one of the richest contracts in team sports history, and he gets to save a little bit of that as his kid received a college scholarship 17 years and 11 months before their 18th birthday. Sterling Mahomes was given a scholarship to Texas Tech. Mahomes and his fiance Brittany Matthews, alma mater. Imagine if you work at Texas Tech and you're in charge of giving out scholarships and somebody hands you a piece of paper and says you have to give one to a month old baby. My God. Can we put that on Disney Plus? If you have a brother, you must know a life of fights, pranks, and maybe even getting pants in front of your high school crush. Sibling rivalries can go on forever. Just look at the Gallagher brothers. But this one, this one's a rough one. Former first ever pick of the Houston Texans, David Carr, brother of Derek Carr, thinks that Russell Wilson should be traded to the Las Vegas Raiders, the team his brother Derek plays on. There's definitely going to be an awkward Easter dinner at the Carr house this year. Hey Dave, don't be mad when your brother is out of a job, sleeping on your couch saying it's only temporary until his podcast blows up. And now for some quick yell outs. In You Think Your Weekend Was Bad News, an Instagram model who slept in a U-Haul van in Atlanta during All-Star Weekend was stopped by police and crashed the U-Haul van. In I think Pogs were a bad investment. A Tom Brady trading card was sold 
for $1.32 million. In Ichiro Suzuki is better than you, and he knows it, news. And that was another episode of Yelling for the Bench. Please like, subscribe, and stay notified.